channel. My name is Catherine. If you're new here, if you're returning, thank you for returning. Thank you for all the new subscribers that have been coming onto my channel and supporting me. I really appreciate each and one of you guys. I decided today to come and do a what's in my bag um, for nursing school. I've seen a couple of videos like these and they seem pretty cool. So I'm just going to go through everything that is in my bag over here. I pretty much keep my bag about the same every time. Um, and the only thing that changes is a book. So for example, if I'm going to my foundations of nursing class, then I'll bring that book and, and so on. So this is pretty much standard for me. So now let's jump into the video and see what's All in right. it. So in the front of my bag here in this pocket, we have hand sanitizer. That's always good to have, especially during these days. Uh, we have some Underly Smooth Hand Cream. Um, one of my classmates actually gave me this and then I ended up buying two more. It is so good. So if you have like eczema on your hands, I have eczema particularly in one finger that it's annoying. And the more I sanitize my hands and wash my hands, it gets worse. So I really recommend this. Um, you can get this at the dollar store for a dollar, maybe a dollar 25 now, actually. And I have a mask. Always have one of those. And that's pretty much everything I had in this front pocket. Um, on the side, I just have a water bottle and another water bottle. And I normally have a regular water bottle, but I don't bring it to school because it's so big. And then after I had COVID, I'm like, no, I don't want to put like my hands on it and bring it home. Normally these, they just stay in there. I don't touch them again till I'm in school. Uh, the next thing I have is this little selfie stick, you know, to take pictures. I was trying to use this as like a vlogging camera, but it didn't work because it moves back and forth. So now we're gonna go in the front pocket. And so in the front pocket, I have my Stoggles case. My Stoggles are currently in my car. I left them there on purpose because it's a requirement for me to bring to clinicals and tomorrow's my first day of clinicals. So I do not wanna forget them. I have our charging pad. My husband's very big on me carrying this thing because my phone is always dying or something is always dying. So he's like, Catherine, here you go. <laughs> um, then he put, he has me all well prepared. He gave me this little baggie where the battery pack comes in and then it has a couple of cables. It has like a USB cable, it has the um, iPhone cable and then it actually has, um, there's also a like a plug-in head. So I always carry these um, as an emergency because like I said, my phone is always dying and when you got kids, your phones cannot be dying because <laughs> you never know what kind of emergency or my husband's in the military so you never know what can what kind of emergencies you need your phone for i have uh this little bag i bought at the dollar store where i was going to supposed to transfer all my writing utensils in but i still haven't so yeah <laughs> then i have my pocket heater if you watched my last video uh, I did mention that I ordered like a pocket heater because I was about to take my health assessment, vital science, com I can't test, competency test. I cannot say that word. So sorry, guys. Um, and I was so nervous because my hands, my fingertips are always cold and I just needed something to keep them warm. And this warms up your hands so good and i found out when i like when i came in that it's also it charges your phone as well so it's actually a battery pack and a hand warmer so definitely bringing this tomorrow to clinical so i need to put this to the side <laughs> i have a pen and a fin the and a fintan pen in this front pocket and i don't know why i have one of my son's socks in here mom problems <laughs> oh and then in this little small pocket i have my old driver license just in case um i will forget my wallet um it's still valid since it's not expired it's just from a different state 
Um, then I got my card and then I got my um, vaccine card in there. So that's what I have in the front pocket. All right, on to the big pocket. All right, so yesterday I was able to pick up my two N95 masks. I got fitted for it. Um, yeah, and we needed these to start clinicals tomorrow. So I picked those up yesterday. I have my iPad. I take this to all my classes. I take notes in all my classes. I pretty much do everything on my iPad now. Normally, the first four weeks of school, I would have my iPad and my laptop in here, but my backpack weighs so heavy that it was hurting my back so i'm trying to learn how to just use the ipad and so far i this whole week was my first week doing that and so far i i like it so yeah i have my planner i have my planner in here i tried to keep up with it i'm still you know trying to um get used to this whole planner thing I've always just had a really good memory and I know that in nursing school, you know, try to be as organized as you can, especially when you have kids, but I'm literally on top of all my assignments, but I do come in here and I look. So like I wrote out all my assignments. Um, they're on the syllabus, they're all in here. And I got this at TJ Maxx. They have cute planners and they're cheap. <laughs> Next thing I have in my bag, this is my favorite, one of my favorite <laughs> is, um, a bag and it says everything I need but in reality all I have in here is literally markers highlighters uh, little sticky notes um, pens pretty much everything that I need to write with whether it's on my whiteboard or on paper it's in here have is this Nanda or nursing pocket guide so you guys might come into contact with a book like this this is from one of my classes but this is all the nursing diagnoses so if you're in nursing school you know about this and or will know about this and if you're um still in your prereqs it's pretty much um you make your own nursing diagnoses so that's what the care plan and stuff is based on so based off these nursing diets. I have a notebook that I haven't really used that much in class um, because I've been writing on my iPad. It just has like a couple of things in here but in reality it's pretty much empty and then it just stores some papers that I have gotten in class. I have my AirPods and that's because I just threw them in there because I was just in class and I always carry my AirPods everywhere. I've been using this technique where if I'm not talking to anybody, I just watch something on Hulu. Right now I'm re-watching for like the fifth or sixth time, How I Met Your Mother, and it's because it's a great laugh. The ending, I'm not going to do spoilers, but anyways, um, so right now I'm watching How I Met Your Mother and it's a really good show. So if you, if you guys like to laugh and you guys like jokes great show to watch and it's on Hulu. I have two of the two pamphlets that were given to me by my clinical instructor and it's pretty much the use of social media in the hospital so we're not allowed to record or even take pictures in the hospital which um yeah it's literally which is it's understandable you know it's HIPAA they're sick people and you don't want to be taking pictures of yourself around sick people so and if a like a patient asks to take a picture of you that's like a no-no so it was pretty much going over that and then this is just a reference center um in our library that we can use next thing i have is my little bulk my little i don't know what you call this case my little case <laughs> and in here i have oops all righty open another wrong so i have my stethoscope um, I have this black stethoscope with the duochrome um, diaphragm with my name engraved. If you guys want to get them engraved, you can get them through, um, if you get them through allheart.com, I believe that's the website. If I, if I can't recall, I will know, I will list it down below um, where I bought my stethoscope and it's pretty cool because you can get it engraved. I got this G watch that my husband gave me. It's just a watch. Um, we don't really need we can wear our apple watches uh it's just more for like um 
checking pulses that we really need like a 30 second or a one minute clock. I'm thinking of buying one that um, I've seen my classmates they wear that you just like um, clip it into your clothes and it's just like you look, look at it and that seems easier than this. And then I've seen also um, my classmates also have the same that you clip in, but it's just like you put in your Apple Watch in it. So that's, um, I thought that was pretty cool, but then I'll be scared that my Apple Watch will break. So I'd rather get the <laughs> clock. I have my shears. Um, I have this and it's called, I can't think about the name right now, but it looks like this and you just basically open it and you, yes. So this, my professor told us to get it. So like if we're doing an IV or anything that we want something to hold or squeeze, we can use this. And so she recommended it. And I got it in this dual chrome thing color. And then I have, she told us to grab some Sharpies, even though my badge rail already has a Sharpie, but I just have two just in case. I have a pen light, I have a yellow light, and then I have a white light which I will be leaving this out of my bag because I, like I said, I have, um, I'm gonna put this as well in here. Um, I have um, clinicals, my first clinical tomorrow. So I'll be taking this and since it's really early in the morning, I'm trying to prep before I go because I don't wanna wake up the kids. And then I just have a bunch of paperwork that I got yesterday from a class that I made up, a clinical that I made up and that's about it. And then this, um, it's funny. So this is supposed to be my surgical, my sterile gloves. And my professor, she did like, um, like a fake, fake sterile glove for me because in my class, um, they all had um, latex and I have a latex allergy. So she did like a, her own version with nitrile gloves. And that's pretty much it guys. That's all I have in my bag. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'll try to list um, as much of the stuff that I mentioned on the video down below just in case if you guys want to grab any of it. But other than that, um, thank you for being here and watching my my videos and for supporting me and watching me go through this journey. Um, I'll see you in the next video, which should be my first day of clinical. And I'm just going to let you guys know that it's not going to be a lot of I, I can't do footage in the hospital. So I will just try to pretty much let you guys know how it went. And um, and I'm super excited. I should be nervous because I've never been in a clinical setting, but I'm super excited. So I'll see you guys in my next video.